Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you, minor? Good evening. Okay. Re ready to Very teach? Very good. Minor? Are you ready to teach? Minor? Are you ready no. to teach? Oh, yes. <laughs> We're gonna be the teacher today. Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, what about hey Saul? Hello, Saul. Hello, teacher. Good. How was your weekend? Very nice. Okay. Did you visit your family? No? No. Stay in the house. No. Okay, good. Hello, Tatiana. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Um, so so. So so. Okay. Tired. Yes. Okay. Tired. A lot of work. Okay, good. Fine. Manuel, how about you? No. How Very, good. Good. Very good. Uh, yes, yes. Very good. Excellent. With my family. With the family. That's an excellent thing to do, you know, to spend time with the family. Yeah. Okay, good. Now let me check what we have. Okay, this is the the last knowledge check that we had last uh, week. Okay, when we were talking about the members of the family, right? <clears throat> we had uh, the grandfather, and remember who was the grandfather? And for the lady, she's the what? The grand. Mother, the grandmother, correct, right? So we have grandfather, we have grandmother, and we can say also grandpa and grandma, right? So that is grandmother, grandfather, grandpa, grandma. Then the next one, Chris, is the what? From this vocabulary. What is he? Let me make it a little bit bigger. We have mother and father. Father, correct. Right? Mother and father. Okay, good. Wow. Go, go. Now, <coughs> in the next one, we have aunt. <coughs> aunt and? Tosi. A cousin, this two. Oh, my. So, uncle. Uncle, that's correct. Very good. Uncle. 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 Aunt and uncle, right? So, uncle here. Uncle. Okay. Uncle. Here you have some husband. Okay. And his Wife. 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 Okay, Jumiko is Sam's wife. Correct. And then uh, you can see that Jim, his brother, okay, and sister in law. Sister in law. Sister in law. Okay, you can see here sister in law. Okay. Good. And then we have two children, right? Uh, Kelly and Jimmy. And they are what? They are what? Nephew and? Nephew is the boy and for the girls? Cousin. A cousin, no. 
Yes, knees, okay? No, Correct. No. Knees here. Knees. Similar similar to knees, okay? Knees. Okay? So this is their vocabulary. Remember we have grandfather, grandmother, father, aunt and aunt and uncle, husband and wife, brother, in this case we have a sister-in-law. Okay, and then we have niece and nephew. Now, these two are brother and sister, right? So these two are brothers, and these two are is only one sis, one girl. So this and this are cousin. Okay. The two brothers, look. No, boy, the, sis, the sister and the brother. This one is the niece of Sarah. Okay. And is the cousin of Jim and Sam. Okay. These are cousins. Jim and Teresa, cousins. This is this one. The first one. Cousin. Okay, so Teresa is the cousin of Jim and Sam. Okay, Teresa is the daughter of Manuel and she is Sam's cousin. Okay, this is what we had. Okay, it is the, remember that the vocabulary is something also that you have to, to practice, okay, and check repeat many times because you know it's something very uh, vital okay it's vital it's vital in the case of the of the learning of the language okay uh, let's see the next one we had the next topic we had at the end of this lesson participants will be able to ask and answer questions using the present continuous Okay, remember the present continuous? Who remembers the present continuous? Use ING. Use ING, remember? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. when we talk about the present continuous. Swimming, swimming. Uh huh. Working. Working, okay, uh-huh, what else? Working. Trying. Swimming. Swimming, okay. I am swimming today. I am? Driving. I am swimming Driving. today. Dreaming, dreaming. Running. Running. Okay, what else? But there is something very important, right? That you have to remember. Let me see. That we have to use, for example, I am driving. Okay. This is the, the for example, say, as an answer, you see the present continuous, right? We have, for example, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Okay, what are you doing right now? Then you say, I'm studying English. Okay. So you have to use the I am, the verb to be. 
and then the ing form okay this is present continuous okay this is what they are talking about good now let's watch the video and see some examples in a conversation and after we are going to listen to another explanation through another video Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion block. Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. B plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion box. Okay, good. What are you doing right now? Okay, that is the question. Okay, so think about uh, two things 
for example, that you are doing in this moment, right? For example, what are you doing right now? In my case, I am working, okay? Uh, I am teaching, uh, I am teaching English, okay? Um, I am explaining, okay? I am speaking, right? So you see, sometimes we don't pay attention that there are many activities that we are doing at the same time, right? Uh, sometimes these are, for example, actions uh, that you can see, but you don't see the movement, right? For example, what is another thing that I am, I am doing? For example, I am working, I am teaching English, uh, I am speaking, I am sitting, okay? No, not standing, okay? I am sitting, so these are some activities that I am doing in this moment. Okay, what am I doing right now? I'm sitting. What are you doing right now? Well, I'm teaching English. Okay, what are you doing right now? I'm looking, I'm looking at you guys, okay? I'm looking at the computer screen. Okay, you see there are many things that we are doing. Okay, so then, uh, let's see. Pablo, what are you doing right now? I am receiving English classes. Okay, good. Okay, what else? Saul, what are you doing right now? I study English. I am studying study English. Very good, okay. Javier, what are you doing right now? Uh, I am learning English. I am learning English, okay. Good, so you see the three have said the same thing in a different way. Okay, in a different way, very good. A minor, what are you doing right now? I am in English lesson. I am in an English lesson, right? So this is not exactly um, a, pr a present progressive, okay? But it's, underst it's understood that you are studying English. Okay, Astrid. What are you doing right now? I'm watching the computer. I am watching the computer, right? Good. Manuel? I, I am watching my class, my English class. Okay, I am watching, I am, okay, observing. I am listening, okay, my English class. Vilma, what are you doing right now? I am this class cellular. I am taking my English class in my cellular. Okay, phone on my uh -huh. phone. On my phone. On my phone. Okay, good. Tatiana. Um, I am eating cookies and drink and drinking coffee, and I'm studying English. A cookie, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm eating co cookies, drinking coffee, and studying English. Okay, very good, three actions. Thank you. Luis. Yes. What are you doing right now? I'm watching you. Okay, oh my God, okay. <laughs> I'm watching you. Okay, sounds like that. Okay, good. Alejandro. I am listening English. I am listening, okay. I am listening to my partners speaking English, okay, to expand it more. Okay, Santos. I'm receiving my English class. Okay, I'm taking my English class online. Thank you, Alan. Wait me, teacher. Yes. Sorry. What are you doing Wait. right now? Good uh, night. I'm leaving my little boy. Okay, Sorry. I am Sorry. taking, I am taking care of my child. <laughs> He died. Yes, I, I am take, taking care I of take, my son. I take my son. Taking, I take, take my son. Taking care of my son. 
Okay, you see two students in one. Okay, good. Eduardo, what are you doing right now? Uh, I am enjoying my English class. I am enjoying my English class. Okay, very good. Steve. I'm drinking some water. I'm drinking some water. Good. David. I'm learning English with the Teacher English Corporativo. Okay, very good. Excellent. Carla. I'm doing my homework. I'm doing my homework. Okay, fine. Claudia. What are you doing right now? I'm learning English and drinking coffee. Okay, very good. That's nice. Okay, and Johnny, uh, sorry, Jenny. I'm speaking English with you. Exactly, very good. That's a nice one. Eliel? I, I develop, uh, I develop uh, a service software. I am developing. Yes, I, am I am developing a, huh, a service software. Service software. Okay, very good. That's what you are doing in this moment. Okay, good. If you see, okay, give give yourself a you know a, you know a, a pat here on the back. Okay, there's una palmadita en el hombro, right? Very good. Nice job. And the good thing is that you were using different verbs. You see that you. I no le dije, but you were trying to use more verbs, okay? So you try not to repeat the verb. You were saying the same thing in a different way, okay? So that's, that's good. Then you are producing English, you are thinking in English, okay? So thank you very much, okay? That was a nice, nice exercise. Now let's see, just let me see the next video that we have because I, we're gonna do another activity, but first let me check if we can do it now or after. Just need to get rid of this video now. Okay, so we have here, and here. And then we have uh, talking about our families using quantifiers. This is not exactly. Are you ready to? I want to remind you. Are you living at home now? Yes. Okay. Now, give me a second. I'm going to send this to. Okay, we're going to practice these questions, okay? They, they just no questions. All right, that we have three questions here, right? Okay, now you have it in your cell phone. You can check if you cannot see the screen. The first one is, are you living at home now? Okay, yes, I am. Is your sister working for the government? And they say, yes, she is. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? You say, yes, they are. Okay? Now, what you're going to do is this. He's creo que van a utilizar memoria or paper and pen, or un papel y lápiz, right? Because uh, what you're going to do is uh, we are going to practice the, quest, the first question only. Are you? Okay? For example, suppose I say um, a... Let me check. Uh, Luis Alberto. Hi, teacher. Are you watching TV now? Are you watching TV in this moment? I'm not, teacher. 
no, I'm not. ¿Ok? Entonces, ustedes van a tener que recordar eso. Porque en la segunda ronda, la pregunta va a ser, Saúl, ¿es Luis Alberto watching TV now? Dependiendo, dependiendo de la respuesta que él dio, you are going to answer, right? So he said, yeah. no, uh -huh. no, Albert, no, no, he, no, he is not. No, no he is not. Okay, we say, is Luis Alberto watching TV now? No, he is not. And then we are going to combine the third person, okay? The first person, the second person, are you? Yes, I am. Second and first person. Is he? Then we use the third person. Uh, Astrid, are you, um, let's say, are you, are you using the phone? Are you using your phone in this moment? Yes. Yes? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, good. Then, yeah. uh, Javier, is Astrid using her phone in this moment? Yes, she is. Yes, she every is. Day. Yes, she is. Every day. Every class. In every class. Oh, my God. No, Astrid. Every class. In every class. Okay. <laughs> Then, you see, then the first round that we're going to do is only are you, are you, are you, okay? Good. Perfect. Then, uh, Francisco, uh, I'm mean, sorry, Javier, ask the question to Saul. Okay, voy a usar este orden okay, that we have in this comment so that I can remember. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Saul. Are you happy? Okay, ING form. Ah, okay. Saul. Are you feeling? Yes, are, I you feel, am. Are, are you feeling good? Uh huh. Or are you feeling happy? Yes, Saul. Well, he said yes. He yes, I am right. So we look. So he's going. He's, he's gone. I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Saul, ask the question to Astrid. Are you? He's having a little inconvenient with his, yes. Okay, good. Well, Javier, ask the question to Astrid. Sorry, second question again. Astrid. Okay. Astrid, are you reading a book in this moment? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, very good. Then Astrid, ask Manuel. Manuel, um, is you sleeping? Are you? Are you sleeping? No? Oh, yes. No, I am not. Okay, good. Okay, Manuel, ask minor. Remember, re recuerden las preguntas y las respuestas, right? Okay, good. Manuel? Minor, are you eating in class now? Are you? Eating? No, I'm not eating. Okay. Eating. Are you eating no, in I'm class? Not. Are you sure, minor? No, I'm not. Are you sure? Seguro. You are not eating. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Say yes, I am. Say yes, I am. I'm not eating. Yes, I am. Okay, minor. Ask Alejandro. Alejandro, are you swimming right now? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Are you swimming? No. Okay, Alejandro, ask Luis. Luis, are you working after 7 a.m.? P.m.? Sorry, mm -hmm. 7 p.m.? Fine, no. No, I'm not. Okay, no, I'm not. Okay, Luis, ask Tatiana. Tatiana. Are you watching TV in, in this moment? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. OK, 
Okay, Tatiana, ask Vilma. Uh, Vilma, are you listening to music in this moment? No. No? No. No I'm, music. No, I'm not. No music. No, no, I'm not music. no, I'm not. Okay. No, if you want I'm to not. give a long answer, you can say, no, I'm not listening to music in this moment. Ah, okay. Good. No, I'm not listening to music. Okay, good. Now, Vilma, ask a question to Pablo. Um, Pablo, what do you watch TV? Are you watching no. TV? No. I am not. No, I'm not. No, I am not. Okay, Pablo, ask Santos. Santos, are you drinking coffee? No, I'm not. Okay, good. Santos, ask Alan. Alan, are you playing the football today? Are you playing football now? In this moment, right? Now, uh, uh, now. Alan? Then I'll say, yes, I'm playing soccer right now. Okay. Yes, Alan, can you? Oh, we lost Alan. Sleeping. Yes, he's sleeping. <laughs> he's not listening. <laughs> Are you listening? No, he's not listening. Okay, good. Then, uh, Eduardo, answer the question. Are you playing soccer right now? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, Eduardo, ask Steve. Uh, the same or other no, question? Different question, different question. Uh, Steve, uh, are you eating pizza today? Are you eating pizza now, right now, in this moment? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, Steve, ask Carla. Carla, are you learning English? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, Carla, ask Claudia. Claudia, are you drawing right now? Good question. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, good. Claudia, ask Jenny. Jenny, are you reading the class in your notebook? No, I'm not. Mm, you have a good memory. Okay. Okay, Jenny. <laughs> Ask the question to Eliel. Are you? Are you studying Portuguese right now? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, Eliel, ask Javier. Then we close the circle. Javier, are you um, eat, eat macarons? <laughs> macarons. <laughs> uh, spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. Okay. Good. Uh, spaghetti now. <laughs> macarons. Well, macaroni no, is Italiano, right? Italian. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, I'm not. Okay, no spaghetti. Just, okay, good. Yesterday, I eat macaron. Yes, you as yesterday you ate uh, the spaghetti. Okay, very good. Then uh, we have uh, the questions with are you? Okay. Now, Francisco, you choose a victim, okay? And then you ask the question, for example, Vilma is Manuel, what was the question for Manuel? Um, is Manuel sleeping, right? Or something like that. I think Manuel was sleeping. Well, you ask the question for To Vilma. I don't know, you choose. It's your, ah, okay. it's your choice. Okay. Uh, uh, Claudia, is, is Pablo 
learning English. Claudia? Okay, yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, yes, he is. Is Paulo learning English? Yes, he is. Good. Then Claudia, choose a victim. Okay. Um, Astrid is is Alejandro watching television? No, she is. No, he. No, he is. No, he isn't. Okay, no, he isn't. Okay, good. Then Astrid, ask the question to whomever you want. Pablo is minor eating eating in the class. Mm -hmm. No, he is. No, he isn't. Okay, good. Uh, yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Luis knows. Luis knows. Okay, Pablo. Okay. Um Jenny? Yes. Alan are Alan are you soccer play? Is is Alan is soccer is Alan playing soccer? Is Alan playing soccer? No oh, he is um... He yes. learned English right now. No, he is. He, yes, he English. is. Because he never answered. Alan is playing soccer in this moment. We assume. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Jenny? Yes. Oh, yeah. there is Excellent. Alan. Play Alan is here. <laughs> Alan is here. <laughs> where, where, where are you, I Alan? <laughs> he's alive. He's alive. alive. Okay, welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Uh, Okay, okay, good. I just I just listening. Okay, okay, good. Ah, I'm hablando de mí. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, but good things, Alan. Good things. Okay. Okay. So, are you uh, are you playing soccer in this moment, Alan? No. Okay. No, I am not. I I not. Okay. Very good. Okay. You see, Jenny is right. Okay, Jenny. Yes. Who's the victim? Okay. Tatiana. Yes. Hello, Tatiana. Hola. Hello. Okay. Hello. Tatiana, is Carla listening the the English class? Yes, yeah, she is. Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, very good. Okay, Tati, ask a question to another big team from here. Uh, <laughs> um, Mm, Eduardo. Okay. Uh, Eduardo, okay, there he is. Ask okay. the question. Eduardo is Alejandro drinking coffee. Uh, uh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. We don't see him, maybe. Maybe he is. Okay, Eduardo, ask a question. Um, Vilma. Vilma yeah. uh, is Santos eating right now? No. No. He, he, he? He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. 
is he? No, he isn't. He is. Okay. No, he is. Okay, Birma. No, he isn't. Now ask a question. No, I said him. Um. No sé. A Ever, no sé si está conectado Ever. Ever, 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 Ever. No. But you can ask, uh, um, ask uh, Alejandro. Alejandro, este... Yes. Uh, um, is... Uh, Con Carla, no se le escucha. No, es que no, no se le escucha. Solo dice: Es Carla. Hello, Irma, can you hear me? No. Vilma. No, she's having problems with the, with the audio. It's a question about her levels, but we don't know. Okay, eh, esperemos que se la arregle. Now, Alejandro, ask a question to anybody. Alejandro? Okay. Eliezer, is Santos drinking coffee? No, he don't. He, he doesn't. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. Okay. Eliel, ask a question to Carla. Carla, is still listening English? I I think he is. <laughs> okay, is Steve listening to the class? I think he is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, listen, Carla. You say yes, of course. Okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> good. Okay, now Carla, ask the question to Steve. Steve, is Vilma losing her signal? In signal. Internet signal. In yes. Internet? Okay, internet signal. Internet signal. Yes, she is. Okay. Good. Steve. Now, Steve has a question to Luis. Luis. Is Saul feeling happy? Yes, I am. Yes? Saul, Saul. Ah, pardon. Yes. Yes, he is. Right? Yes, he is. Okay, Luis, ask the question to Saul. Hi, Saul. Is Astrid playing guitar right now? No, she isn't. No, isn't. she isn't. Okay, I think yes, she is here on her lecture. She's doing. Okay, good. Excellent. Then, Saul, ask the question to Javier. Okay, Javier. Um, hey. Um, Carla Mendes watching the computer right now? Uh, I don't know, I think so, but <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> okay, I don't know, I think so, but she is. No, I'm not. No, I'm no, not. I'm not. Okay, good. <laughs> no. All right, good. Then, uh, Manuel, is, uh, let's see, is Saul, is Saul touching his forehead in this moment? 
Is Saul touching his forehead in this moment? Yes, he is. Yes, he is now. In this moment. No, so, he, he don't. He, he isn't. No, he isn't. Okay, no, no, he isn't. no, he isn't. Okay, people, good. So this is, you know, the, the practice you see. And you say, no, I'm not watching. Okay, good. And thank you, Alejandro. Okay, uh, then we have the next one here. Okay, so this was the topic. Now we have this one, which is conversation. I come from a big family. Wait. Okay, here. Hey, Javier, can you please read this this uh, objective here, please? In this lesson. Okay, in this lesson, participants will listen a conversation between two people talking about their family size using quantifiers. 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 Okay, okay quantifiers. good. Quantifiers. That's correct. Okay, so about their families using how big their families are, so their family size. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to me, Lee and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on our discussion box. Okay. Hello, do you come from a big family? Now pay attention to the vocabulary, okay? Expressions, new words. Family? Listen to me, Lee and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on our discussion box. Okay. Questions about the vocabulary? Not really. A lot of new expressions, new words. And nowadays. Nowadays. In these days. In these days. Right? Nowadays. What else? Only? Okay. 
Okay, now pay attention to the pronunciation okay? and the intonation. The families are smaller these days. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on our discussion box. Okay. How but big families are great because... What about their families? How many brothers and sisters uh, does Meili have? The girl. She's the only child. Men? She has? None. None. Okay? Zero. Because she's an only child, right? She's an only child, so she doesn't have, you know, any brothers or sisters. What about Marcos? How many brothers and sisters does he have? Five. How many? Five. Five. Okay, he's got five. It's correct. Three brothers and two sisters. Okay, good. Three brothers and two sisters. That means uh, five. Siblings. Okay. Yes, look in the chat. Five siblings, right? Siblings is the, the group, okay? Sisters and brothers. Okay, sisters and brothers. No problem? Fine. Okay, very good. Excellent. So then if you have no more, then remember that when we have two brothers, it's only boys. Sisters, it's only girls. But if you want to mix the two, then you can use the word siblings. Okay, the only thing that siblings is more general, right? When you say brothers and sisters, then you are more specific. Okay, good. So remember here the pronunciation, we say how many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Uh, not really. A lot of families are smaller. Okay, these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, you know, big families have advantages and disadvantages, right? So this is probably one of the advantages is about presents that you get, uh, you know, when it, your birthday is coming, right? So then this is a good thing. You get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. Okay. And here, Sha, for example, how many brothers or sisters do Meili or Marcos have? Okay. So this could be one question and the answer. Here. And this lesson participants will be exposed to quantifiers 
and the remains. Okay, this is the next and last practice. Well, I'm just going to introduce this for tomorrow so that you can... This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want smaller these days, not many couples have more than one child. Okay, this ones so that you see here are called quantifiers. Okay, all, nearly all, most, indican una cantidad, right? All families means todas, right? Nearly all would be, you know, like casi todas, right? Most, the majority, many, a lot of, some. Okay, so look at all is the 100%. Then you have here, none is zero percent. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay, nobody gets married. Okay, so then for tomorrow, please watch this video, okay? Uh, as many times as you wish. And tomorrow um, we're going to practice with these words and count and non-count nouns. Vamos a hacer un repaso de los números contables y no contables, okay? Like for example, when we say water and glasses of water. Water is non-countable, has no plural, but glasses of water, yes, but the glasses. Okay, tomorrow that's what we're going to practice. All right, everybody, so this is all for today. Uh, just a reminder, the platform, remember that this Friday we finish, well, Thursday we finish, and Friday uh, the platform will be closed so that you can get your, your, uh, your diploma quickly, okay, to be ready for the next level, okay? If you have questions about the, the platform, let me know in the chat. Okay, so that I can help you. All right. If you have any, okay, I have a problem with the with the platform in the Finnish exam. What okay. I write? Okay. I then write. send me a message, right? And then we can solve it tomorrow. All okay. Right? Sure. Okay, people. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 B